Hi everyone, this is Madison Slater. I'm a certified watch guard trainer with JSCM Group, and in this video we're going to continue on with our initial setup process. In the previous video, I showed you how to activate a device. In this next step, we're going to talk about what you need to do before you actually start setting up your firewall. The first step is that you want to have a computer that you can plug straight into the firewall. This computer should be running a Windows environment and should have an Ethernet connection available on it. Once you have your computer, our next step is that we're going to grab the software we need for the setup. One of the great things about WatchGuard is that they provide the software we need for free. What's even better is that you can download this software on as many different computers as you would like. To grab the software, we simply need to navigate to www.watchguard.com support. Then, look for the Download Software section. Next, pick your firewall model. Then look for the WatchGuard System Manager option and download it. As a side note, even though we chose a particular hardware model on the software download section, this software itself is not dependent on the hardware. WatchGuard System Manager is designed to work with any piece of WatchGuard firewall hardware that's available. Once you have your software downloaded, go ahead and install it. During the installation, you only need to install the default WatchGuard System Manager portion for now. In a later video, we'll explain what these other options are for. Our next step is that we want to physically connect our computer to our firewall. First, make sure that your computer can receive a DHCP address and doesn't have a static IP. Then, go ahead and plug an Ethernet cable into your computer. In order to plug directly into your firewall, you want to connect to Interface 1 on the device. This interface is set as the trusted internal interface. It is configured as a 10.0.1 subnet and should hand out a DHCP address to your computer. We're going to pause here for now. In the next video, we'll walk you through the new device configuration wizard in which we'll be inputting some of our initial firewall configuration information. In the meantime, make sure to check out our website at www.jscmgroup.com. Under the WatchGuard blog section, you can find our other helpful videos to help you configure your WatchGuard device. I'm Madison Slater, and this video has been presented by JSCM Group. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.